In this example, we are interested in the range of K1 so that this control system has a steady state error of less than 1%. The steady state error here refers to the steady state error between the input and the output. So I set the disturbance to zero. To do that now, we need to find the transfer function. This is a simple transfer function to find. We have the line function and the feedback function here. So y of s over w d or w of s is k over s times s plus 5, the multiplication of these two functions, divided by 1 plus the same function, and times k1, the feedback function. And this will simplify to k over s s plus 5 plus k k1. This is now the transfer function between the input and the output. To find the steady state error, we need to define the error first. The error is the input is the current output, which is this. times the input. So this is y over wd. So if you multiply this by the input, this gives the current output. And now the steady state error is the limit when s tends to 0 of e of s times s. That is, e of s is this entire function. Now I'm going to factor omega d or WD, and you're left with S from here, 1 minus KS S plus 5 plus KK1. Now we need to define the inputs. Let's assume that our input here is a step function. So if it's in a step function, then WD becomes 1 over S. So if this becomes 1 over s, this s cancels with this s. And when s tends to 0, we are left with a steady state error of negative 1 over minus 1 over k1. 1 minus 1 over k1. And we want the steady state error to be less than 1%. Our input here had a magnitude of 1. So now this is to be equal to 1% of 1, that is 0 0.01. But we want the magnitude of the error to be equal to 1%. So now taking the magnitude here, we need to solve for values of k1 to satisfy this equation. So you have positive 0.01, or if this is also negative 0.01, the range between the two is the range that we want the steady state error to be within. So let's just start with the positive value. We need to solve for k in this condition, 1 minus 1 over k1 equals to 0.01, and 1 minus 1 over k1 equals to negative 0.01 because again we're interested in the magnitude. If you solve for k1 in the first case, k1 equals to 1.01, and if you solve for k1 in the second expression here, k1 equals to 0 0.99. Now the range of k1 that will satisfy this expression, that will satisfy a steady state error of less than 1% is k smaller, greater than 0 0.99 and smaller than 1.01. 1